Hi everyone, after roughly two months of hard work, it's finally finished. The uh, electronics and wiring you're seeing in front of you are all part of a coil gun. Um, it is a 300 volt, three stage coil gun um, that works by accelerating this magnetic bullet all the way across using three coils that are fired at very specific times. Okay, so it's charged to 300 volts and I'm going to fire it by typing in the serial command fire. The results are um, <laughs> 16, 20, and 24, so 24 being the final speed in meters per second of the projectile. All in all, it was able to achieve a speed of 24 meters per second. And this is quite fast, it's about 86 kilometers per hour, but it could easily be much faster by fixing some of the things that I did wrong and making various improvements to the actual build of the coil gun itself and um, to the code that runs it. So the way that this coil gun works is you have a 12 volt DC power supply um, from, say, an old computer power supply, for example. Um, and that's boosted up to 350 volts. Um, and that's used to charge these six capacitors. Um, it's actually three sets of two capacitors. Um, and each set of two corresponds to one of the three coils. And when those coils are fired, we actually use a thyristor in order to transfer this huge amount of current safely um, onto these coils so that they can be fired. So there are three coils that are each wound with roughly um, 0 0.8 millimeter wire, um, and each are wound about 300 times. The SCR thyristors that we have set up are rated for 55 amp and 400 volts. The thyristors are fired by output pins from the Arduino. However, three optical couplers protect the Arduino from the high voltage and noise. As you can see, we have these input receivers that trigger the coils to fire. These speedometers, they're also speedometers because we have these output receivers um, that tell you the time difference between when this beam was broken and this, when this beam was broken, are simply infrared transmitting and receiving devices. Now, in building this coil gun, I wanted to do it both cheaply and well. Um, and there are many tutorials on how to build a coil gun using these sort of complex electrical circuits, time-based circuits. But instead, I just decided, why don't I use an ESP32 microcontroller? Um, it's very fast. In fact, the time between detecting the bullet and firing the coil is around six microseconds. And compared to your average Arduino Nano, it's roughly 15 times faster. Um, all the parts that are used in this coil gun are going to be available in the description, um, and the code is going to be freely available, open source, on GitHub. Um, that is the code for the Arduino IDE that works with this microcontroller that we have hooked up to the firing circuit of the coil gun. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope that this prevents you from running into the same mistakes that I did. And thank you for watching.